Today's video is brought to you by Deluxe Your Strings by Charlie. Oh, hey YouTube, how are you going? Your strings, two are good, but you know it's even better. 36, the more information you get, the better. And there's no better way than decorating your glider with your strings. You will get more information out of it. The ones on the side are really designed to capture the angle of attack. And you can actually learn to gauge what your angle of attack is in the air and if you're close to stall or not. Having more over the top means you really get that yaw. And you know, if you've got them going opposite directions, you know the air's a bit turbulent. If they're all going the same way and straight, you know you're onto a good thing. I've also added some strings to the wing so we can actually see what the turbulence is doing on the wing when we stall and when we're going straight and when I open the air brakes, what happens. Oh, that, that is really good. Man, it really gives you a sense of what's happening. Even just the turbulence on tow and all that. Glider release, thank you. Right, gear is up. Wow, I have to say, this is game changing. Look at this. You really get a sense of what the glider is doing. Are you yawing or not? It's unbelievable. I can't believe we haven't been flying with this all the time. There's a few showers around too, which, you know, the problem with the rain is it can stick the yaw strings. I've suddenly realized it could become more of a problem but luckily you've got more backups so maybe this is the perfect solution but just the sense of going fast as well like on my own i'm going slowly right now and it feels like we're going a million miles an hour because we've got racing stripes okay here we are flying through flying reasonably straight now i'm going to throw in the rudder and look at that when you're yawing you get a nice cyclone effect. So it makes it really clear if you're flying straight or not. Yes, look at that. Oh, it's so easy to keep them. You know, look, if I'm just using my rudder here, you can tell so quickly and easily if you're not quite straight. It's amazing. Okay, well, let's try a little stall, shall we? So I'm just gonna pull back, slow down, 45 knots, feel the shuddering, oh, and away it goes. As soon as the nose drops, you see them snap back into laminar flow. Let's try opening the air brake, see what happens. Bit hard to see what's happening, but the ones in behind, look at that. It's interesting, it affects the ones in front too. Incredible. So obviously you wouldn't fly around with uh, strings on your wing all the time, you know, that's going to create a lot of drag. If you have too many on one side, you'll be going around in circles all day. You know, there's a reason we clean the bugs off. The ones on the canopy though, they are amazing. I don't think I'll ever fly without them again. It's just, you just have so, look at, look at that. Just every little bit, every little thing I do, I now know what I'm doing. Up, down. If I get near the stall, you know, these are great stall indicators. So as my angle of attack gets too high, these are pointing, you know, up. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, I'm, I'm mushing down. And I knew that because I can see what's happening. So it really is useful. Okay, I'm going to try just a small spin. And we'll see what happens. So I'm sliding down. Wind drop. Whoa. Look at that. As soon as we start going, they snap back into place. Let's try one the other direction. It's going to be a left hand stall this time. Woo! I, for one, am going to love our new Your String Overlords. <laughs> what is happening with that one? Look at that! Up it goes! That is incredible. Okay, I did not actually expect that. That is pretty cool. <laughs> the theory with the internal strings is to gauge the airflow in the cockpit. You know, you really want to know 
how is the air vent working how's the air flowing through the vents because that can affect where you get fogging and all kinds of other issues so very useful to have internal uh, yaw strings I suspect they need to be made of a slightly lighter thinner wool that's probably the best solution for them so something to think about let's see how the uh, how the yaw strings handle high speed obviously we need to test interesting the internal ones are now working so higher speed was all that was needed more air through the vent Oscar Bar's finals 2-8 Well, I think we've all learned a lot today. You can never have too many yaw strings, glider pilots are idiots, and many other things. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.